Hey guys, it's Meadow Oral with Eagle Rock Realty and Property Management. I am a realtor here, but my passion is in interior design. That's what my degree's in, um, it's what I went to school for. So I really wanted to touch on the process, what goes into design. I feel like everyone thinks about interior design and they think about a rendering. So there's different stages. Whenever I have a client, whether it's an investor or a homeowner, some people want to completely redo their home and some people just want to slap some paint on the walls and some nice flooring kind of the process is is when someone contacts me I will do a consultation kind of talk to them about what they want in their space I feel like design is a feeling some people want to feel at home some people want it to be a family environment some people don't have kids it's kind of all different so I'll go into the space whether it's a living room or a whole house I go in and I measure everything so I have everything on paper I use a laser to do that and then after that I go back to my office and I personally love sketching. I sketch everything out. If I have an idea, I draw it really fast, see if I like it, see how I could change it. So I hand draft all my plans before I even put them into Revit, which is the software system that I use. After you get everything in Revit, Revit kind of shows you not only a floor plan, but it can show you 3D twirl of the building, I guess you could say. But you can look at everything. You can go in each room 3D or it can be completely 2D and it can just be a flat plan. That typically takes a good project, a full, I'd say about a 1500 square foot house would probably take me 25 plus hours to do it. So planning is key in design. You can't rush anything. If you rush it, it's probably not gonna be a product that you or I would be proud of. But after that, once you have everything in Revit, you have your 2D floor plan, you can go back. I show it to the client. I'll show them the 3D options of them in their space because they may want changes. They may not like something. They may want a different option and we can do that. We can show different options. So from there, I open up my rendering software. My rendering software is very detailed and from there I kind of just snap shots of different angles. I can do QR codes and basically what you do is you just scan the QR code with your phone and you're in the room. You can look around with your phone. Um, if you have a headset, you can put your headset on and be in the room. It's pretty cool. There's some pictures for a client that we went in and redid the whole house. We left the flooring but we did paint. We completely restructured the kitchen. Um, this person wanted their backyard to be an oasis, so I feel like we really captured that. But they also have fur babies and needed a separate space for their dogs so there wasn't tea and all that on their concrete by their pool. So we did that. We added a few different areas where they, they can hang out and just really enjoy with family and friends. And then inside, um, they didn't have a lot of cabinet space, so one thing that designers really strive to do is maximize the space that you have. No space should go unused, no space should go unnoticed. So in the existing kitchen, there was little to no cabinet space. I mean, there were cabinets there, but they were poorly designed. They're pretty old, so what we did was go in and we made lots of storage space. We did different variations of sizes of cabinets. Um, we have a wine rack in the corner that you can see and then we have some open shelving for more aesthetic feel and that ties in with the other tones of the room. Tying back into the assumptions of design, everyone wants the pretty picture at the end but it is a process. There are steps to it and you go back and you change things and you revise a lot until it's something that you're proud of and that your client really loves but it's functional and it maximizes what they already have. So that's the cool thing about going into existing buildings for me personally is because you get to recreate what someone else had and this house for example was built in 1970 maybe something like that so it hadn't really been changed since it was built so now we're making it more modern and we're putting a new twist on an existing building which is really fun once again this is Meadow Oral with Eagle Rock Realty and Property Management if you have any questions about design real estate investing or even more content on on what it's like to be a designer and a realtor don't hesitate to reach out we're gonna attach my social media links and you can reach out to me on there be sure to like and comment on this video share it with your friends if it was useful information to you and be sure to subscribe to our channel so we'll see you guys later